Hey guys, I'm Chris Buck, and a very warm welcome to Friday Frightworks. And on this week's episode, I have a rather sad admission to make, and that is I'm starting to wonder whether I've been using fuzz pedals, not so much wrongly, but definitely not to their fullest capacity for all of my guitar playing life. Let's dive into it. So this rather sad realization has come about specifically because of one pedal. Now I'm not saying this is the only fuzz pedal in the world that cleans up incredibly well when you use your volume control on your guitar. Yeah, that is the rather sad, obvious realization I've come to. But this pedal is undoubtedly the pedal that really inspired that sort of uh, realization. And that is of course the Pedal Porn Fuzz. Now, Pedal Porn being a relatively new company actually run by a very good friend of mine, Mr. Chris King Robinson, an incredible guitarist and musician in his own right, if you're not familiar with him. But ever since I've known Chris a good number of years now, Chris has been on the relentless search of tone, in essence. You know, tracking and following rare, unique or weird fuzz face style pedals down to the end of the earth. So fast forward a few years and it's really not a surprise that Chris started pedal porn with a view of sort of recreating, I guess, some of his favorite style circuits. And the first pedal he's released is very much a recreation of a rather famous rare fuzz face style circuit, the Texas square face. Now, if you're familiar with the Texas square face, Cesar Diaz Texas square face, odds on it will be through Mr. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Now, as with Stevie, everything he touched or was reported to have used tend to take on uh, a little bit of a mythical kind of proportions. And as such, couple that with the scarcity of these pedals and the prices are rather insane. So Chris's vision of releasing the Pedal Porn Fuzz was to make something inspired by the Texas Square Face and its legendary ability to clean up absolutely beautifully, make that available in a package that was you know more affordable and infinitely easier to get hold of. Now Chris, when he sent me this pedal, he's kind enough to send me the pedal, send it with very specific instructions. Use your volume control. Now I think he's kind of aware of the fact that I've been a little bit guilty of not really touching the volume control on my guitar when using fuzz face style circuits. Now this is bizarre given I actually did an episode of Friday Fretworks last year on the benefits of using your volume control and for anyone who's seen me live will be very much aware of the fact that I spend 99% of a show riding my volume control you know to get the best out of the amp or to get the best out of whichever myriad of pedals it is overdrive pedals specifically that I'm using at that moment. So it seems rather bizarre that when it comes to fuzz pedals I've been a massive fan of fuzz pedals for many years now, and there's always been a fuzz pedal of some style on my board. I've never really used my volume control. Now, I know, I guess, in my heart of hearts that they do clean up incredibly well, but more often than not, it's in conjunction with other pedals, and it is very much being used for a specific part of the track. More recently, syncing the Buck and Evans track, the end solo of that, it's pretty much full out, you know, 110% from the moment that starts to the moment it finishes. And as such, rolling the volume back on my fuzz didn't really seem like a kind of sensible thing to be doing. However, Chris was very adamant that I use this in isolation and really spend a bit of time getting used to the dynamic range available just by using the volume control on my guitar. Now, as you've heard in the introduction of this video, works beautifully on some lead tones, obviously kind of riding the volume control to try and get the most out of it. I'm gonna play some kind of cleaner chord tones now, I guess. And again, it's very indicative of that glassy, chimey, very kind of bright sort of cutting strap that you very much associate with someone like Stevie Ray's clean work or Jimi Hendrix. So in that respect, it really is a fantastic sounding pedal. <laughs> Thank you. 
last but definitely not least now, I'm going to play you out with something a little bit more fuzzed out, I guess, a little bit more lead work. Again, just to show you the dynamic range and the amount of control you have over the gain this pedal has just by using the volume control on your guitar. At no point in this video did I actually touch the controls on the pedal. Very much a set and forget thing in that respect for me. Getting the most out of it and then kind of really leaving it as it is. And just using your volume control to try and you know kind of maximize what you're getting out of it so as ever thank you very much for watching this has basically been a video to try and tell you not to be as dull as i've been for the past however many years and if you are a big fan of fuzz face style circuits or fuzz pedals in general experiment with your volume control please don't be like me as ever i've been chris buck this is uh, friday fretworks thank you very much for watching happy new year and i shall see you next week for another video cheers guys take care and i shall see you soon